Here's what Divorce 90 Day Fiancé stars are using their 15 minutes of fame for. Surprisingly, many of the couples featured on 90 Day Fiancé are still together, which is pretty much unheard of within the reality TV realm. But for whatever reason, the couples on the hit TLC show seem to always overcome the most dire relationship circumstances in their fight to the altar, and once they tie the knot, they stay married. But not everyone on the show has had a happy ending, and a few cast members have gotten divorced. Probably the most famous divorced couple from the show is Mohamed Jbali and Danielle Mullins. Where do we even begin with their drama? In season 2, the couple tied the knot with much skepticism from fans. After all, there was an extreme age difference between them, and Mohamed wouldn't even kiss Danielle on her wedding day. When the couple returned to the spin-off show, Happily Ever After, the truth came out. After a few months of marriage, Mohamed took off from the house, starting a new life as a single man. Devastated, Danielle tried to get him deported, but Mohamed claimed that she scammed him since she lied about her finances. Season 5's Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendez had a similar tumultuous relationship. Because of their age gap, the two constantly bumped heads over priorities. Luis, who was 26 on the show, wanted to party and have fun, while Molly, 41, wanted a father figure for her two daughters. After an explosive argument, Molly told Luis to pack his bags and get out, but there was a catch. The two had already tied the knot a few weeks prior. However, after six months of marriage and a stint on Happily Ever After, the two finally finalized their divorce earlier this year. But after the divorce, the couples didn't just quietly go away. They used their last few minutes of fame to try lemons into lemonade. Mohammed is now making YouTube videos. Mohammed and his former wife Danielle are probably the most famous divorced couple from the show. Shortly after tying the knot, Mohammed took off and started seeing other women. When confronted about it during the reunion show, Mohammed claimed Danielle was crazy, demanded sex and had a weird smell down there. Although Danielle tried to get him deported, he currently lives in Austin, Texas, where he dabbles in photography and self-help videos. Danielle is now selling her autograph to fans. After her messy divorce from Mohammed, Danielle hasn't fully moved on. She still has Jbali as her last name on Facebook and most of her feed is full of articles and memes related to women who were taken advantage of by immigrants trying to get into the country. But her fans apparently can't get enough of her victim narrative and she's currently selling photos and autographs on her Instagram. Molly is now making music. When the 41-year-old met Luis, 26, while on vacation in the Dominican Republic, she liked him so much, she decided to take him home as a souvenir and marry him. But considering the age difference and the fact that Molly had two kids, one being a teenage daughter who highly disapproved of their relationship, the entire marriage fell apart in only six months. Considering Molly already has a successful lingerie business, she technically didn't have to do anything after divorcing Luis. But in typical reality TV fashion, she's starting a music career. Luis is enjoying America while he still can. After divorcing Molly, Luis has been posting pictures on Instagram of himself eating food, getting haircuts, and watching Yankee games. He's left Georgia for New Jersey and appears to be much happier. However, since his marriage to Molly only lasted six months, fans are wondering if he'll be deported soon. At least he's making the best of his time. Jason Hitch is now in the reality TV casting business. He tied the knot with Kasha Tavares in season two, and together they started a mail order snacking business called Gifting Fun. However, Things took a dark turn in 2017 when Jason was arrested on domestic violence charges. After his arrest, Kasha filed for divorce in early 2018. However, the couple is technically still married, and Jason has his relationship status set to separate it on his Facebook page. Although it's not an official divorce, we're going to go ahead and count it as one. Out of all the 90 Day Fiancé alums, Jason is by far the most famed or why. He's always flocking to entertainment sites to give interviews about the show, provide his two cents about new couples, and just trying to extend his 15 minutes of fame. But it appears Jason is now taking his reality TV experience to a professional direction. On his Facebook, he's promoting a company called Kara Casting. As for Kasha, she has no social media, so we have no idea what she's doing. But hopefully, she's doing okay. Yay Mir Castillo is still working on his music career. In season 2, Yamir moved to the U.S. from Nicaragua to marry Chelsea McKeck. The two had friction over where Yamir's priorities were, his new marriage or his burgeoning music career. In the end, he chose the latter, and the two amicably divorced in 2017. Today, he's still in Chicago releasing music videos on his YouTube page. Chelsea is now living in Colorado with a new girlfriend. After her split from Yamir, Chelsea met Aaron and the two started a new adventure together in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The two have an Instagram account called Hike health and happiness that documents their self-care lifestyle.